what are those they are that when you are making dua to look up into the sky to indicate as though Allah is only in the skies Allah is not only in the skies right so this is this like this is makru in making dua right then you are you are making dua as though you know you are ab zabardasti kar rahe ho allah se ab zabardasti nahi karwa sakte ab mujhe de warna there is no warna with allah subhanahu wa taala give me this if otherwise you know there is no otherwise you can't dictate things to allah subhanahu wa taala right or to ask dua which is constrains the rahmat of allah subhanahu wa taala like for example a sahabi once made the dua that oh allah forgive me and rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam and other than the two of us don't forgive anyone else so rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that you know you have you have literally constrained the rahma of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala which is very wide don't do that allah does not like that his rahmat be constrained another thing to keep in mind when making duas is that at times we make dua and the opposite of that happens for example there's a person who is making dua that ya allah let me be cured i want to be uh, let me be cured ya allah shifa ata farma de and he ends up going into a surgery and now that surgery the post recovery period of it is extremely painful and he has to go through a lot of hardship and he's thinking that ya allah i wanted to be cured and you have made me go through so much hardship but the thing is that allah knew that his recovery was he had to go through a process for him to be recovered we are asking making dua that ya allah uh, i have these family issues let them be resolved let them be resolved and things starting opening up in a manner which are totally contrary to the way we wanted them to go and we are thinking that oh i didn't want this you know i was asking for things things to be right but anna knows what is good for you so going back to when we have that this have this good opinion of allah even if things are turning out contrary to what you expected them to be because you made dua to allah allah knows that how what will be the good thing for you and at times he makes you go through things the outcome of which would be what you were wanting but the process of it would be against your will or your desire then at times we make dua which we think is very very good for us this is exactly what i need and this is agar mujhe inaam mili to main bilkul hi tabah ho jaunga but allah subhanahu wa taala still does not give although we are not doing anything wrong we have risk ke halal we are not going overboard we are not asking for any urgent service we are not breaking any we are not sinning we are not breaking any ties but yet the dua is not accepted the reason for that could be that if your child is saying that give me the knife and now he's crying and he's crying and he's crying ki mujhe churi chahiye mujhe churi chahiye mujhe churi chahiye yeah allow me to put my finger into that electric switch you know no matter how much he cries no matter how much he wants that thing you know to how desperate he is we will still not allow that to happen why because we know that this is not good for him this is something that can harm him hurt him cause him more trouble then that temporary pleasure that he is looking for so we hold him back so at times allah subhanahu wa taala also hold things back because he knows that what are the things that are good for us and what are the things that are not good for us